Got everything sweet by Charles Miles. How y'all doing? This is Everything Sweet with Charles. Today we are making a fantastic dessert. We are making chocolate bread pudding. Okay? This is what you're going to need to get it up and running. Okay. Over here we got 12 egg yolks. Okay? 12 egg yolks here. We got our chocolate that we're going to use. We got it cut up. This is the kind of chocolate you need. You need a half a pound, which is eight ounces. These, these little boxes are four ounces each, so you're going to need two of them. Okay? We got two cups of regular milk. We have two cups of heavy cream. We got one stick of butter. And we got one cup of granulated sugar. Okay, now this is going to be a little different from your normal bread pudding. You know, you make your normal bread pudding, just mix it up, pour it in the bread. We're going to have to put this in a pot. We're going to cook this, okay? We're going to cook this, then we'll show you the next step as we get to it, okay? All right, we're going to go ahead and put our heavy cream and our milk and our butter in our saucepan. All right, our heavy cream is going on. We got it on medium heat now. Heavy cream is in now. We come in with our two cups of regular milk. This is the one coming in a gallon container. Got that in. We got a stick of butter. Basically, all just need to be at room temperature. But if you got some that's not room temperature, you're going to heat it up anyway, so it'll just be fine. It ain't like you making a cake. And everything got to be at room temperature. Uh, when you putting stuff in a pot and boiling it, then you don't have to worry about room temperature so much. But if you can get it at room temperature, that's fine. Okay, we're going to let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then we're gonna cut it, cut it down, okay? All right, now we're going back over here on the table. We're gonna let this do what it do. Just let it sit here. We're going back on the table. Just show you the next step to this, okay? Okay, we got a loaf of bread here, which is about 17, 18 slices. As you can see, we toasted them, okay? Got to toast them on the front side and the back side. We toast them for 30 minutes. They got the brown on one side, the other 15 minutes. We flip them over and we put them back in there for another 30 minutes. This should equal to four cups. You need a nine by 13 inch pan here. We got that here. This uh, bread pudding is gonna bake on 325, okay? Now, our egg yolks, we have to temper them before we add it to the mix. Tempering simply means you add some hot liquid to this and get it mixed in. Because if you don't do it like that, then you're going to have stramelade. You do not want stramelades in your bread pudding, okay? Once it, our milk and our heavy cream and our butter come to a boil, then we'll add our sugar in, okay? All right, I think that's about cover that. We got a big bowl here to put it in. Once we get our mix off the stove, we're gonna put our bread in here. We're gonna pour our mix on here. That's gonna have to set anywhere from about 35 to 40 minutes so your bread can, you know, suck in all your mix. Okay? Alright, we're going back to our pot over here. That's looking pretty good. Okay, at this point, we're going to start getting our bread ready, okay? We're just going to break our bread up in pieces. That's all we want to do. Break it into pieces. You should have about four cups. When you get through with this, yeah, in the entry, and then you just got a little extra, okay? All right, we're going to constantly break our bread up, and we 
we'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Okay, we got a little boil on there. Now we're going to add our sugar. And the stove is cut off. Now we're going to take a little hot of this, a little of this, and temper our eggs with it, okay? Now we're going to take that off the heat. We, we can turn it off, but you know, it ain't going to cool down as soon as we turn it off, okay? So we're just going to take it off the heat. Okay, we got eggs here. Take, got a little hot beat wick here. We're gonna add a little and beat. We probably could have used a bigger bowl, but we're going to work out what we got here. Just a bit more. Okay, we're gonna constantly beat this just a little longer. We'll be right back. Okay, we got our eggs tempered. We're gonna add them to our mix here. Give it a little time. Heal constantly uh, whip it while you're adding the eggs, okay? Okay. Okay, next step we're gonna melt our chocolate with some of the same mix. Get that melted, then we're gonna add it to it. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Alright, we got our chocolate. We're gonna put a little of this hot mix in there. And get that chocolate melted. Then the chocolate, we're gonna add the chocolate in. Okay? chop it to our mix. Okay, you stir it in some. Make sure you constantly twist. That's your key. Constantly twisting that thing, okay? Plastic scraper, get the rest of our chocolate out of there. Okay, 
you I wish y'all can see the camera girl we got. Every time I move, she move. I be blocking her way, and uh, she find a hole where I ain't blocking her way. That's what you need. Somebody working that cam, okay? And this sauce pot we get, we're using now, this or just one of the uh, the dish we had when our house caught a fire. You know, our house caught a fire about two years ago. We lost everything except this pot and a few more things. But it was a total, total burnout. The insurance company paid us off in about four days. And we had to go through the revel trying to find, you know, what we can save and what we can't. But it was just a waste of time, baby. It wasn't nothing to be saved. We got a few dishes. This one, this one of the pots that we got out of our burning house. That well, my wife got it. And my God, what she had to do. I was trying to get throw the pot away. She said, no, this is a good pot. I ain't throwing it away. So she didn't throw this pot away. Okay. We got that ready. We're going to put our flavor in. I don't, I don't know that I show y'all the coffee creamer that we're using. This is the coffee creamer that we're using. We're gonna put that in. Alright, when we come back, we'll be ready to add this to the bread. That's gonna have to set anywhere from an hour, hour and a half. I'm gonna make sure that bread suck in all this juice before we put it in the oven, okay? Stay with us, don't go nowhere. Okay, we got our bread here in the bowl. We got chocolate everywhere. It's okay. We're going to pour our mixture right here with our bread. Mix that around in there. Every one of them piece of bread need to get soaked with this chocolate base here. Well, that's all we're making chocolate bread pudding, baby. Okay? And you see all that liquid? Don't come back in about an hour, and you probably ain't gonna find no liquid, okay? Okay, baby. We're gonna let it set for about an hour, and uh, we'll be back. Now, don't even try to go nowhere. We'll be back in an hour. Your time is going to be a few seconds, okay? My time is going to be an hour. But you ain't got to wait no hour, okay? Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. How y'all doing? We're back. Uh, our bread pudding been sitting in the custard for about an hour. Now we're ready to transfer it to our bacon dish, Okay. Notice how all that bread is covered with the chocolate. Yeah, we can always smell what I was smelling. Yeah, somebody need to come up with that smell of these, man. I'm talking about somebody get rich, man. I'm joking. Turn the TV on. Somebody cooking something. <laughs> and you smell it. Man, <laughs> you gonna want to go in the kitchen. Or definitely be there. When that come out of the oven. And you're gonna cook anywhere from 45 to 50 minutes. And we're gonna sprinkle some walnuts on it halfway of the cooking process. We're also gonna bake it in a water bath. We're gonna put foil on the top of it so it won't get brown before it get done. Simply what the water bath does, make it cook equal on all sides, okay? So don't go nowhere, we'll be right back. Okay, I tell you we're gonna put the nuts on halfway of the cooking process. But my wife said, get putting on there now. See, that's why you can't have cooking and kitchen at the same time. Because uh, you got on your mind what you want to do, and they got on their mind what they want to do. 
Now we putting them whole on here. Uh, we normally would chop them up, but we're not chopping them up today in case somebody might be allergic to nuts. They just can simply take them off, okay? But what you don't want to do is miss this bread pudding when it come out of the oven, all right? These are walnuts we put on there. Like I said, we put them on that hole. Now, if you hadn't subscribed to the channel, Lord, how much you have no clue what you're missing. This will be a perfect time to go ahead and push that button. Subscribe to the channel, okay? If you like what you see, go ahead and share it. Definitely give a thumb up if you like what you see. All right, we're going to put all on here. And I tell you the reason for this foil. So it won't brown on top before the rest of it. The rest of it cooked, okay? Anytime you see somebody put foil on it, that's what's going on. But do not want to brown before the inside get done, okay? That's the only thing foil does. You see them putting foil on it. That's what they're trying to do. Now, the oven's already preheated at 325, all right? Now, we're going to put this in our pan, and we will add the water to it once we get it in the oven, okay? Because you don't want to put your water in and it's flashing everywhere, okay? I'm going to just set it in one simple spot, and then you add your water to it. All right, we're going to get a pitcher. We're going to add water to it if you want. You want it to fill halfway of your baking dish. You got a baking dish right here, halfway of it. So I'm going to need a couple of these. Get one more. A little water on top, it'd be all right. Halfway of your baking dish, that's what you're trying to get, okay? That looks pretty good. Ease it in there. We're going to set our timer. 40 minutes. In the extra 10 minutes we cook, we're going to take the foil off so it can finish brown. Okay? Set it for 40 minutes. Forty minutes we'll come back, take the foil off, let it continue to cook. While it's cooking, it's going to continue to brown, okay? So 40 minutes. We'll be back. Don't go nowhere. How y'all doing? We back, baby. After 55 minutes, we coming out. Water bath and everything, okay? Look at that, baby. <laughs> That's chocolate bread put in there, baby. Still kind of hot. I'm gonna take that out and set this towel down here. I'm gonna set it on the towel. Oh, man. Can you smell it? Man, you can't smell that. You really need to be here to smell that. I need to get another mitt. I'm gonna take it out and set it on that towel there. That's all we did have a water bath here. Man, look at that. That chocolate bread pudding there, baby. Now we're going to let that cool for a minute or two. Maybe, maybe a little better than a minute or two. Then we're going to show you the topping that we're going to top it with. We're going to make some whipped cream with heavy cream. We're going to fold some sour cream up in it. We're going to put a little alcohol in it, okay? Y'all stay with us. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. 
Okay, we're gonna make the topping for our chocolate bread pudding. This is what you're gonna need. You need two cups of heavy cream, a half a cup of sour cream, a half a cup of uh, confectionery sugar. You need a tablespoon of this good stuff. Panache. Glora. Glora, okay? And then we have orange extract, okay? We're gonna put our heavy cream in our bowl. That's two cups of heavy cream. Got a half a cup of confection dairy sugar. I'm gonna start it on first year. We're going to put this in the fridge, let it chill up. Yeah, I can't wait no longer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let this chill up, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut into this thing. And see what we got, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it. That, that big walnut right there. Cut in a little piece right here. Like a big piece to me. We're gonna put another salsa. <laughs> Got a little salsa here. Take a little spatula. Get that out and put it on this plate here, baby. cream and sour cream. Now, you put this on there when you serve, okay? Oh, how much? Look at that. Let me get a fork. Y'all stay with me now. I gotta hunt stuff down. Y'all know anybody hiring? I need to go back to work, baby. Man, look at that chocolate bread pudding. I don't know what to tell you. I never would tell you. I'll make this whole piece though. Man, it's just something. I'm gonna eat this whole piece. I normally eat two or three pieces, but this whole piece got to go today. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
walnuts, crunched and toasted. That flavor of walnuts just kicks out. The chocolate. Hmm. Mm hmm. Try this. You know what I'm trying down there? Try this. Chocolate pecan. Uh, I definitely said chocolate pecan pie. But this is chocolate bread pudding. Okay. Now, if you haven't subscribed, this would be a great time to go ahead and push that button. You haven't subscribed, what you waiting on? What you waiting on? You subscribe and keeps up the, uh, us on the air, okay? That what keeps us driving and finding new recipes and making new recipes. We got somebody watching, baby. We got somebody watching, baby. We're going we gonna to do what I do. we got to do to make them continue to watch. Go ahead and put this subscribe button. If you like what you see, share it, okay? Okay, we'll be back next week with another delicious chocolate bread pudding. Man, who come up with that? <laughs> yes, we'll be back next week. Tired eating. We out of here. Okay, baby. Child is back with chocolate bread pudding. Man, I don't know why I didn't come up with this sooner. Lord how much. Let's go ahead and taste test this thing. Look at that. Boy, if you could smell what I'm smelling. Look here, we got a little, little icing on that thing. We got a little powder sugar, sour cream, Kahlua. You know, we're going we gonna, to we gonna have a recipe for you for you to know how to mix this thing up. And you can put strawberries on this thing. And boy, you and your sweetheart can have a time. Mm, mm, mm. No, that, that's delicious. I'm toasted. I roast the walnut and the chocolate. Man, you gonna have yourself a ball with this? <laughs> Listen, you need to try this, okay? You know what happened in the grocery store? We used to make cake for two. You know, I had a couple slices. Carb cake for two. You can have this in. Bread pudding for two. You and your sweetheart, okay? Now, if you had to strive, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Go ahead and put this, push the subscribe button, okay? We'll definitely appreciate it. It don't cost you nothing. Only thing you get up a no location when Charles is in the kitchen. When Charles is in the kitchen, you need to find you a recliner, easy chair, swing, whatever you need. And turn that thing on and watch what y'all are doing, okay? So, go ahead and put, push the subscribe button. If you like it, then go ahead and share it. We we'll definitely appreciate it. You keep us on air, okay? Now, we'll be back next week with another fantastic dessert. And tied in, we out of here.